Hello there, dear YouTubers. My name is King1993, and today I am gonna talk about what are the best build method that you can use on this character, which you are gonna get at the beginning part of your gameplay. So upgrading her is a no-brainer at all, and this uh, character is called the Animo Traveler. Okay. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay. First of all, let's get started of what category of character she is. Is she a main DPS, sub DPS or is she a support character? Now as I have said in my previous video regarding Amber, that Amber can never be a support character but similar can also be said for this Lumin as well because Lumin can also never be a support character because the uh, skill, elemental skill and elemental burst of a support character is totally different than characters who are main dps or sub dps for example let me show you this palm vortex this palm vortex has a duration of one second so as you can see here any attack which has a duration of one second is actually not considered here at all okay now what about gas search now the problem with gas search is not with the duration the duration is six second but the problem is when you use guard search on your enemy the enemy gets further away so as you can probably see here that lumin is using gust search and that enemy is getting away so this is one of the main reason why i do not suggest you use lumin in this pattern because if you use lumin in this pattern then she will never become a support character which is why i highly suggest that you do not use her a as a support character whether you use her as a main dps or a sub dps character so this is the part for this one of why you should never use her as a support character now let's talk about the constellation of this main character now the constellation of this main character is actually the easiest thing in the game because you are gonna get this for, for free you are gonna get this upgrade for free that is because uh, most of this upgrade is gonna come from just upgrading your uh, uh, adventure rank okay for example currently my adventure rank is 55 so the more adventure rank you have the more you are gonna get this uh, what should I say constellation things for her not also that rather if you upgrade these statues from each region then each region is also gonna give you those constellations uh, object or constellation materials which are needed to update her to her full potential so lumin who is a character that because she is free to play uh, the mihoyo company just basically gave her all of her constellation away for free so you do not have to worry about anything regarding her constellation so i'm not gonna talk about that much here Rather, I'm gonna say since her constellation is very easy to upgrade, you must need to uh, give her all of her uh, upgrade, then she will become a very useful character because a, any character which has all the constellation active is gonna be better than any character which doesn't have all of those constellation active. So I highly suggest that you try to make uh, Lumin at constellation six if you have the materials which you are gonna have definitely. So no comments on this part. now let's talk about her artifact now the thing about her artifact is a very easy thing you do not need to put extreme amount of effort into understanding it so let's start now the best artifact set for her is this veritation spinner set okay now the question is why because uh, it has these two pieces have the benefit of giving 15 percent animal damage and when it has when she has four pieces of this very decent veneer then what will happen is the swill effect will cause 60% uh, more damage to the enemies and the enemies will decrease their elemental resistance by 40 for 10 seconds so basically speaking if this is equipped on the lumin this artifact set that is then she will gain 15% uh, more unable damage bonus also and the thrill effect will increase to 60% uh, and also at the same time the enemies are gonna 
uh, uh, lower their resistance their enemies uh, elemental resistance is gonna get lower by 40 percent for 10 seconds so obviously it is a very highly beneficial uh, artifact set for this animo traveler okay now in case if you are wondering okay what about the main stats of these three the main stat of these three should be as follows such as the first one should be attack percentage the second one should be animo damage and instead of attack i suggest that you also give her the critical damage so basically speaking give this one attack percentage give this one animal damage bonus and give this one critical damage by doing so she will be able to do a large quantity of damage of, on the enemies okay so this is the recommendation which i suggest that you try to give her okay now let's talk about the weapon which weapon is considered as the best weapon for lumin now the best weapon should be considered into two categories one is a five star weapon another one is a four star grindable weapon now since four star grindable weapon there are three of them at the moment in the game so which are the uh, which one of the three weapon which i highly recommend obviously the one which is she is carrying right now called the iron sting now why is that that is because i did some research and found out that in this uh, iron sting uh, section of the video which i pre-recorded it i found out that she was able to do about 4100 amount of damage now how did i do it first of all i used barbarous skill and then i used the animal uh, damage the animal character skill okay and eventually this animal character or uh, lumin is now doing about 2900 of hydro hydro damage and 1200 of animal damage so she was doing a total of uh, 4100 dam 4100 or maybe 4200 damage on the enemies whereas in the prototype run core she was doing a maximum of a maximum of 3100 damage so as you can probably see why the iron sting is good for her another reason why iron sting is good for her because of her elemental skill cooldown she has a very low elemental skill cooldown of five seconds and because she has a very low elemental cooldown of five seconds which is why giving her iron sting is actually better than giving her any other weapon because in every five seconds she will be able to do massive quantity of damage on the enemies okay which is why i highly recommend that if you want to use lumin then give her the iron sting because the iron sting is the best weapon for her okay now what about the best five star weapon for her now for the best five star weapon the best five star weapon which is currently in the game is called this mist splitter reforge now the there is a reason behind that mist splitter reforge is made in such a way that it will will become a, a greater quality weapon for any uh character for enemy any sword character okay because uh, let's uh, say for this freedom sworn okay this freedom sworn also has elemental mastery but the problem with this elemental mastery is that if your overall attack is low then this elemental mastery obviously is not gonna be that much effortful okay especially if you consider that without the elemental mastery the maximum damage output is this one okay and if you are to use the elemental mastery properly then you will get even a higher amount of damage but here is the thing without the elemental mastery this is the maximum damage output but even this maximum damage output takes about 20 second cooldown to actually have this amount of maximum amount of damage so in that regard giving her this freedom zone is like a secondary option now in the that regard which weapon is the best weapon for her in that regard so the best weapon for her at the moment should be in the five star category that is should be this mist splitter reforge then the summit shaper and then the freedom sword okay these are the three weapon 
which I highly suggest that if you ever get the chance to give her then the first try to go for the mix splitter reforge then summit shaper and then freedom stone okay okay so finally we are at the conclusion part of the video where we can now finally understand what type of character she is based on our talent she is not a support character she is not a main dps character either she is a sub dps character and for her constellation she has a very high constellation and a very high easily obtainable constellation so you do not have to worry about her constellation related stuff at one bit okay her best artifact set should be considered as the very nearest uh, very distance veneer and it should be given to her in the following pattern such as attack percentage uh, the animal damage bonus and the uh, uh, critical damage bonus okay so these are the three type of artifact set that you can give her and that is basically it okay so this is the conclusion of the video of which type of weapon artifact set and how you should use her because she is a sub dps character so you shouldn't spend too much time on her if you want to get the maximum amount of damage i suggest that you try to go for some other uh, s rank character who will have a much higher uh, deep damage output because being a main dps character okay and instead of spending that much time on her so that is basically the only reason why i didn't use this animal character because this animal character is actually not worth your time or investment okay so anyway if you have liked this video then please like and subscribe to my channel because it takes a huge amount of time to actually make this and i actually want to benefit from youtube uh related stuff because i really wanted to be a youtuber and since i like game so this is the thing which i can do for you guys to actually make sure that you can have the maximum amount of fun in using these characters okay so anyway please like subscribe and click the bell notification icons otherwise youtube will not recommend this type of content to any other people and hope you like this video and see you again next time okay thank you